I don't know, part of me feels like doing something different today. Being more, I guess, uh, face of the camera instead of behind the camera. Show is probably, it's been a minute. I'm looking at the screen right there and I should be looking right there because I'm talking to y'all. But I just can't help but whatever. Um, obviously, Fox Body stuff ain't really much going on. Um, haven't been able to really work on a car as much. Um, do a lot of things because I have been uh, busy doing a lot of real world stuff. Um, I'll probably touch on that at the end of the year video because we are coming towards Christmas and then New Year's, which is the end of the year. Um, I'll probably touch on that to pretty much say what my 2023 is going to be looking like um, because then obviously it's going to affect uh, in terms of uploading on here, making videos um things of that nature so but today i just figured i wanted to try something because you know test fitting purposes um i want to see if I could go ahead and show you right there that's the uh down pipe and the v-band because we have the turbo and the passenger side manifold completely put on um i think i need to reroute the um the oil line the oil feed not the drain because i looked online at a couple pictures of videos and i realized because the oil feed line is like mad long um yeah i think i'm supposed to go up and under and come around the other side and for right now i have it like going like straight from the uh the feed area whatever shit fucking Straight to the turbo, but I think because it's so fucking long, it's supposed to come around from the other side. Um, but what I want to do with the downpipe is not make a downpipe. I want to go hood dump. Um, why do I want to go hood dump? It's pretty simple. Um, I don't really, I don't see no need. To have an exhaust system for this car it is a 92 she is beyond past emissions where you don't really need to do them anymore uh, technically i could register this car as a classic vehicle in my state um i don't know if that differs by state i don't know if each state has their own different classic situations i don't know if it's like like the whole, whatever i don't know but for my state, I could register it 100% um, as a classic. I'm not going to. It's just a different plate style. It just says classic on it. Like, congratulations, you have an old ass car, you know? I don't really need to do all that. Um, Cause I wanna, I'd rather have a custom plate on there. Um, Not like custom custom, but like custom colors or some shit. Like, I don't know, like wrap it or some shit. I think that's what a lot of motherfuckers are doing. They're not painting them, they're wrapping them. Um, but I just don't see no purpose of running a full-blown exhaust system. I mean, you could if you want to make a sleeper build. Um, if you want to try to keep the turbo low-key. Like, if you really don't want anybody to know. But it's like they're going to know. You know, they're just they're going to hear it. So it's like, you know, how far can you really get from hiding it? But I just want to do a single hood dump. Because obviously, um, the wastegate is just going to be, you know, open wastegate straight out i'm not going to be running all that that extension pipe that comes with the kit i'm not running that shit. i don't really care for it you just as long as you angle your wastegate the right way have that shit completely pointed down because yes it's hot air it could burn something or whatever It'd be smart so i want to run a hood dump but my thinking is i don't want to pay for no custom shit. when you really trying to build on a budget they ain't balling on a budget building on a bullet i really gotta stop looking at the screen i keep doing it i'm sorry when you're building on a budget what i want to do is i want to be able to find where you know if anything i wouldn't be surprised if this would need to get chopped up and probably re-welded for what i want to do i mean it ain't that hard you know i could easily find a shot to just re-weld it but i definitely the definitely going to keep the v-band part of it 
because as you can see each end has a uh the v band so definitely obviously gonna keep that because i need that in order to mount it up to the um hot side of the turbo but i just want to see and then also i need the uh, bong fitting for o2 in terms of um afr so when we run um gauges and shit put the afr right up so i just want to see mocking purposes i just want to see how it'll look this shit is probably gonna look retarded it's probably gonna look retarded right now because the way i'm looking at it because where the bong fitting is for the o2 there it is so go ahead and just so the bong fitting is right here so i wouldn't like normally it would be up if you're gonna run the full-blown down pipe because you're gonna run an exhaust this bong fitting will be up you know towards you uh flip it upside down because you'll see it's actually going to be pointing down in towards the uh the engine bay so i wouldn't really mind that but as of right now i am going to sit here and try to at least get the uh the uh, v-band put up onto the hot side of the turbo and then have fun trying to mock this shit up so let's see And I hope all of y'all had a great Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Um, if you don't celebrate it, then I hope you had a, you know, at least you have a good holiday season. Shit. Alright, well, I guess, I guess that'll work. trying to do a mock-up um, okay we could twist it well, that's awesome let's see can I lay it right there yo that's crazy I can lay it right there okay cool so now Technically, is that mocked up? Kind of, sort of, not really. So let me just go kind of fucking the right size. Oh boy. What y'all thinking? I'm thinking 12 mil. I'm thinking 12 mil. What y'all think? 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 This is just mock-up purposes. This is what I intend on doing. But obviously, I need to visually see like what would technically, you know, what would need to be cut. Because if anything, all I would need to do is just pre-cut the pieces, 
bring it to an exhaust shop to get welded and call it a day. I do like the fact that this shit is polished. Like I'm not, I don't plan on heat wrapping any of this shit. I really don't. People can sit there and say whatever they want. It don't really matter much to me. I think this shit is kind of solid right now. But, all right. So, in the O2 fitting, it's like right here. I don't know, can I twist this? I can't twist it. But I would definitely need to twist it a little bit more to a little bit more clockwise to get that O2 fitting to pretty much run straight in between the um, sidewall of the bay and right in between the header. Well, no, the outside of the header loop, the little piping, because I'm looking at a straight hole. Nice, let me grab the camera. Right here. Not me over here trying to explain it to y'all. So right here, that's what I'm talking about. So, boom. So this would need, this would need to get clockwise uh, just a little bit but from what I'm seeing is I definitely mainly want to keep the v-band point so I would probably cut maybe up until where this shit turns because if you see there's like a slight bend so I would probably cut it the straight up before it turns and then because I want this, you know, this is obviously on an angle. It has to be because of the way the turbo is sitting. The turbo isn't like straight up. It isn't like straight across. It's kind of on an angle. So, mm, damn. Oh no, because if we do, if I do that. That means that shit's gonna run straight back there. But to be honest, I don't want it going too long. You know? I want this shit to be very short. Like, I probably want it to, like, if anything, like, just a little bit past where it fucking turns. I kind of just want this shit to come right out the hood. You know? I don't want this shit running too far. So, what is that? Like, maybe three and a half inches from the V band, the exit? Three and a half, four inches? I don't know. So I'm just trying to think, like, show myself where, you know, because I would love to be able to break down this pipe to be able to reuse the material. And then obviously if the place needs to throw in some extra material to do whatever, then hey, it is what it is. But I don't know. That's what I'm thinking. So let's see if I can get a good thumbnail for this shit. Like, I don't know. Damn, what could be a good thumbnail? Jesus, I don't know. I'm trying to sit here and think like, fuck, what's a good thumbnail? Shit, I guess that. But yeah, that's that's my thinking. Like, damn. Cause I wanna, I wanna keep that bong fitting. It's just right there, like literally, like right where my middle finger hit it. Boom, 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 right there. Cause it's almost. Probably like an inch away from the fucking valve cover. <sighs> but it's like... Well, no, to be honest, there's a lot of room. So I don't need to go on an angle. I could still run it straight back. Because there is a lot of room here. And there ain't really, really nothing there for it to worry about. So, yeah. I could cut it here. And then... This bong is right here. So I could cut it a little bit before the bong. So pretty much get rid of all of this excess. And then boom. <clears throat> Try to utilize 
this you know I'll probably if anything fuck that I'll even do like a little bit before the turn so like probably halfway of, of the straight right and then chop all of this shit then chop this shit because and then boom that's the dump out Mm, I think that'll work. Let me know what you guys think. I think that shit will work because like I said, I don't want it to run too far back And since there's a lot of room I could I could get away with running a straight and then boom it comes straight out the hood. I Think that shit will work because like I said, I just want to be able to keep I want to be able to break this down and reuse the material because we build it on a budget and all I would have to do is just pay for it to get welded up I mean, I would obviously cut the pieces myself and then bring the pieces to them and then they're going to pretty much be, I'll just tell them, yeah, weld this shit up. And then that's that. So I think that'll work. Um, if anything, I'll probably just like mark it up with a pen. I'm not going to cut or do any of that stuff today, but in terms of like where I'm looking at and obviously that's why I'm vlogging it you know for my memory and whatever so and then the rest of the pieces i don't know i'll just let i guess i could let them have it tell them give me a discount or some shit i don't know here you go you got free material don't give me a discount <laughs> but yeah that's all i wanted to do today guys real quick just wanted to show this up i probably am gonna mark it real quick um i think the best way to do it, i'll just grab some tape and just mark off where you know because a marker i feel like it's just gonna like fucking i don't think it's gonna do that well so i'm just gonna grab some tape and you know put it right where i want it like boom right there and then boom right there and then obviously i'll probably say like that right at the weld like right below the weld this shit could get cut so all right well there we go guys so appreciate you tuning in i know it was a really quick really short video um i wasn't trying to make something just to put a video out there this was something that i've really been wanting to do in terms of the mock-up and mentally see where i want to go because i've been thinking of the, the the hood dump setup but i couldn't really do nothing with that if the turbo wasn't mounted up 100 percent um in terms of the oil feed line i don't think i'm gonna worry about that today i'm busy doing other stuff um, this was real quick, so I'm just going to quickly, obviously, just mask up the tape and where I would, because I could cut it myself and bring the pieces. I got a cutter. I could cut it um, and then just find a place, you know, probably get a quote like, hey, look, how much do y'all charge if I just bring exhaust pieces to just get welded up? Because I don't have a welder and I'm not a welder myself, so. Um, or I could reach out to somebody. I, know, I think I know somebody who could probably weld for me. Um... No, I could probably do that instead. There we go. <laughs> but anyways, guys, look, I'm uh, probably throw this shit together real quick um, and put it out there. So, listen, appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share with your buddies. You know, you know, chat in the comments. Obviously, anything that's negative is gonna get either ignored or I may not be the bigger person and take the high road, and I just might be bored enough to say something back. <laughs> but y'all have a happy holidays man i can't uh obviously like i said um either video is going to be dropped before the new year or right when the new year hits in terms of what my 2023 is going to look like because obviously it's going to affect the channel i'll gladly hit y'all with that video but for anyways if you live in where i'm living stay warm if you live in where i want to live stay cool be easy okay. two weeks later I literally thought I was recording this whole time with the GoPro on my head, but all I did was take a picture. So you did not just witness the last, I say, 20 minutes of me trying to saw saw off pieces of the downpipe to pretty much get to where we're at right now. So this is the V-band coming from out the turbo. This is the elbow piece with the O2 still attached. And then that's it, cut it at the weld. Could probably still get bent a little bit. And it's gonna go right about the hood. So, this is literally what we got. And obviously, I still got extra pieces. Being this. And 
the remnants of this. So this extra piping, I could probably try to sell, try to use to get a discount at the welding spot. Cause all I'm gonna need is just those two pieces welded and that's it. So um, stay tuned for that for when that gets welded. But there we are. That's pretty much what we are looking at. Crazy, right? But all right, y'all. Keep y'all updated. Catch you on the next one.